Hello, I'm Rex Busterfield, and there you heard a few select presets from the 100 I created for the Quilcom Blender 2. 
What follows is a brief overview of the synthesizer, how you operate it and so on. Uh, but if you want all the details, there's an included uh, user guide in the download. The original blender was a one-dimensional mix uh, where you could crossfade or morph between two individual sounds, whereas the Blender 2 goes uh, quite a bit further and enables you to crossfade between four different oscillator sources. This uh, mixing is achieved by a joystick or XY controller pad, whatever you want to call it, I'll refer to it as a joystick, and you just move it around to uh, show the mix of, I'll play a note. <laughs> So as you can hear, you get a different waveform for every X, Y coordinate on the joystick. The Blender 2 features six oscillators. Uh, four of them, A, B, C and D, are assigned to the four corners of the pad here. And there's a further two oscillators which have labels sub 1 and sub 2 which you can turn on and off there. Uh, they don't have to be sub oscillators, you can use them for any purpose you want to fill the sound out. The system is especially flexible because apart from the uh, range of common waveforms here and three types of noise, we can load any single cycle waveform into any oscillator we want to. That gives a, a massive range of possibilities. To choose the wave you want, there is a, a waveform browser in the top stroke here. So we'll click on Browse. And uh, these are what uh, waveforms by a guy calls himself the Adventure Kid, and I've supplied all of those waveforms. They are freely available on the internet, so just navigate to one of those. And if you want to audition it, click on the ears. You can page through them until the one you find the one you want. If you're looking for a bass note, let's go down a couple of octaves. And when you've found the waveform that seems to have the timbre you want, then you can send it to one of the oscillators and will automatically switch over to display the wave that you selected. So let's just choose another one here. I'm about sending that to B. And another one there, we'll send that to C. And another one there, we'll send that to D. You can send the same wave to all or any of the oscillators. So let's listen to that. So we're mixing between those four waveforms that we've chosen. Now the heart of the system is the joystick mixer. Let's just bring that into better view. Okay, so here, as I just showed you, we can blend between the waveforms. And if we want, we can draw a path. We put into recording mode clear if we've got a, a waveform there that we, uh, we can do this kind of thing just draw whatever you like and see how it sounds that's in loop mode which we can tempo sync or not single mode and if you want to make that faster we can go up to something so we can whatever speed we want. Loop mode. Slow it down. Speed it up. Double click to get the default value back, which is 120, which we can deviate from it even with sync on, should we wish to. When we go into record mode, we have an option here to draw or to point and set. So clear first and move to the second point we want to set. 
set that there, set that point, and as you'll see that we get a linear vector produced. This is a vector synthesizer, by the way, uh, originally made famous by the Prophet VS. So now we can stop recording to. <laughs> Mode clear again. Put this up here. Now, if we want to make a sort of exponential crossfade, we go halfway, set half the remaining distance, set half the remaining distance, set half the remaining distance, whoops, set, set. So now we have a a nice exponential curve, listen to that in single mode. Okay. So let's go back into recording mode. We'll clear this. In fact, we'll change that to draw. Okay. So, round and round we go. Now these two uh, graph icons here represent the X and the Y movement. They give you a little bit of feedback when you're uh, making your drawing or doing your point to point, but far more usefully they are the shape of the uh, envelope or the path which you can then use in the modulation section. So let's choose that as a source. So the, the joystick X we can make that modulate the, fil modulate the filter cut off. Let's turn it up a bit. Uh, don't know how this will sound. So these graphs serve two purposes. The main one being to show you what sort of shape, LFO, uh, modulation you're going to get. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the modulation panel, um, which contains 21 sources and 14 targets. We have four LFOs with various features, all identical. Two graphic LFOs where you can draw your own LFO waveform and manipulate it. Uh, two graphic envelope generators, which right click menu there, you've got a lot of flexibility there. And a standard ADSR if you just want to set something very quickly. Finally, we've got four knobs which can be used as macro or fine control uh, for various parameters. With this column here, we can set the polarity, unipolar or bipolar, and here we select the target, as I said. Here we can have a second source, which modulates the first source, and we can uh, s select how it modulates here. One times two will control the level, of source two will control the level of source one. We can add the sources, we'll subtract them and this is finally a depth control which goes in both directions also it's bipolar double click to set it to zero there's a small effect rack provided here um, so the, the signal flows from top to bottom we can turn on from here or from the panel so this views it this turns it on and off Classic effect. The graphic EQ uh, can be automated in your DAW, so any changes that you make here, if I just turn it on. can record and automate the sound of the graphic EQ. Um, 
So uh, you may not want to use these effects because you've probably got your own favourite effects, but they are there for auditioning presets and for initial sound design. So finally, onto the global view. Uh, this is where we set uh, settings which affect the whole instrument, such as number of voices in use, uh, portamento, keyboard scaling, if you want any weird keyboard scaling, it's pitch envelope generator, and a, uh, another LFO here, which can be introduced automatically um, for global frequency modulation. So, there you have it. Um, I had a lot of fun making the presets uh, for this instrument, um, but if any of you users would like to contribute more, that would be great fun for me. And uh, I hope you like the Blender too. So, till next time, bye.